welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a favorites video, and it's been a couple months since I've done one of these, so I have some new stuff that I'm loving and some updates on the stuff that I told you about in that last video because I got a few questions about it. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off with beauty, and the first thing is a new product. I haven't told you about it yet because I think it's actually like a super new product, but I'm freaking in love with it, and I'm so happy it exists, and it's the Hula, well, it's Benefit Hula, like the bronzer, but it's a contour stick. This is my dream. I'm so happy about this. I love Hula bronzer. I think a lot of people do, and so when they came out with this, I was like, yes, it just makes your life so much easier. It's just a contour stick. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it's just perfect, and I love it, and I've been using it pretty much every day since I got it. And to go with that, I wanted to mention this makeup brush. It's by e.l.f., super affordable, um, but it's basically what I use with the contour stick. Since I have been back and forth on cream contours, I just find it a little high maintenance sometimes for me, and I just wanna throw on bronzer and go. Um, but lately, this has been so easy, so I've been pairing it with this contour brush, which is perfect for blending. Um, it doesn't smudge anything, it just works really well. Next up is an update on a product I told you about in my last favorites video, and it's the Kevin Aquan Skin In enhancer and I basically just wanted to tell you that I'm still loving it I'm still using it but more importantly because I know that this is a more expensive product I wanted to show you that I barely made a dent in it <laughs> and I've been using it pretty much I would say every day um, because I film a lot and I'm on camera a lot and it's just freaking awesome and so if you're kind of on the fence on buying it um, I would let you know that you don't go through it very quickly because like I said you usually or you use like a little tiny amount that's all you need but I just think it's so worth it but that's it for makeup because you guys know that I hardly try out new products and when I do uh, I tell you about them right away and then I keep telling you about them forever uh, so now moving on to skincare so in my last favorites video, I mentioned Renee Rouleau products and that I'm super stoked about them. And yes, I've been getting a lot of questions if I'm still using them and if I still like them, and the answer is yes. Uh, I've been using it like crazy. I have a new product that I wanted to tell you about, um, but first I wanted to bring this back up. This is a mask, uh, still one of my favorites. I use this all the time. I think in my last favorites video, I said I was only using this once a week, but this is actually really good for when you're breaking out. And around that time of the month, I tend to break out. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people do. So this is just the rapid response detox mask and I use this at night. Um, if I have a few breakouts or I'm breaking out more than usual, I'll use this more than just once a week. And it's a lifesaver. I just, I can't even get over it. I wake up in the morning and my skin's just so glowy. It's not like a miracle worker where I wake up and the, the pimples are suddenly gone, but it definitely speeds up the process and it's for sure a staple of mine and I'll keep buying this for forever. The next one is another Renee Rouleau product and I had reached out to her because I wanted to figure out how to fade my acne scars and she's just kind of like, I text her, I'm like, I need help, like what do I do so I can like relay the message to you so hopefully this helps some of you guys out. And she recommended this product, it's the vitamin C and E treatment and I use this in the morning after my toner, my cleanser and my toner and then I use this and she says it's gonna help with the fading of acne scars, which I need. I still obviously have breakups time and time again it's not gonna like magically go away right away um, but I do have some scars left over from like my cystic breakouts uh, and this has been awesome I've noticed a difference with this it smells really good and I really like it so I wanted to recommend this to you guys because I know I've gotten so many comments asking what I do about that and how I fade that because I'm sure you guys can notice over the years of my videos doing makeup tutorials you see my skin so um, I wanted to mention this because I love this and now for hair, I have a couple things new, but one, again, I wanted to mention is the Gisu hair product. I can't even tell you guys how many comments I get on my hair and what I'm doing. It's growing faster, it's just healthier looking, especially on my Instagram is where I get the most comments about it. And a lot of you guys were asking if I'm still using this, and yes, it's like my holy grail product. I love it. It's by again. She's one of my favorite bloggers. I love her so much. Um, it's quite a bit gone now <laughs> since you last saw it. Uh, Pat and I both use this, he steals it, and I know he does, so that's why I think it's going down a little bit quicker than usual, um, but I'm gonna keep buying this because I love it. And then another one by Her Hair Care Line. She only has two products out now, but I hope she just keeps making more because they're so good. Um, and this is the heat protectant, and I recently got this. I've been using it every day, and I like it. Heat protectant is just a staple. This smells really good. Uh, I would recommend it. If you're going to buy this, just get this too because it's really good, and I love it. Love the combo. 
And then lastly for hair, I wanted to mention hair extensions because I haven't been using hair extensions for a really long time just because I kind of got sick of them to be honest. I was like, I used to wear them a lot like years ago, like almost every day, I think when I was in college, but it just got like heavy. I just didn't want them anymore. I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna like use my own hair and be fine. Um, but if you guys saw my last video, I have a hair in my face. You guys saw in my last video for Ariana Grande that obviously I had to wear hair extensions because her hair is freaking long. And so Luxie Hair Extensions had really, really long hair extensions for Ariana Grande. So I was like, yes, getting those. But then I also uh, got the more of a natural length uh, and they're like 20 inch I think but they're perfect because they match the length of my hair now they actually don't give me any length but they give me thickness which is actually what I need my hair is not uh, very thick it's it's nice and I'm, I'm not like complaining but I just sometimes need like a little bit of extra um, and I'm not wearing them now but when I do when I go out when I have anything where I have to look like extra nice or I want my hair to just last a lot longer I always find that adding hair extensions makes like your curls last longer uh, it just kind of holds everything in place and I like just adding like a few of them in there I just think it makes the world of difference and I really like these they're really good quality not sponsored by the way I'm genuinely mentioning this because uh, I kind of got back into hair extensions after Ariana Grande imagine that um, but like I said they're not very long and the color that I got them in is chestnut brown by the way in case you have the same hair color as me they match pretty perfectly all right so that's it for beauty products now let's move on to the fashion stuff uh, what do I want to mention first let's mention shoes because these are like my new favorites they look like this and they are so cute I like them I'm not very good at explaining clothes for how much I feature fashion on my channel I'm not very good at it um, but these are freaking cool I like them I wanted to mention them in specific because it's my first time trying out the brand Tony Bianco I probably butchered that like always but I love the color of it um, the suede obviously is great I just love this uh, so yeah, they're like higher up on the ankle and it's just like my jam right now They go out, they go really well with all the new spring floral. Ugh, so excited next up are shorts And it's not quite warm enough to really whip out the denim shorts here in New York um, But it is getting warmer if you probably I don't know Hopefully you can't tell that I'm sweating right now because we don't have AC in our apartment uh, Yet we gotta get window AC units because we don't have central air. So I'm like sweating um, but regardless uh, these shorts are great. They're high-waisted uh, leather shorts that I bought off of Etsy on a vintage shop And I wanted to mention them because they're so great. They're perfect for the weather right now Like I wear these with tights and like a sweater tucked in and it's just so nice um, So I wanted to mention it because I don't think I linked the Etsy shop in my haul when I featured these um, But I'm gonna link, link the Etsy shop I actually just purchased a jacket from that same Etsy shop for potentially Coachella. We'll see but I wanted to mention them again because I love them and she has great stuff on her Etsy site. She just has cool vintage stuff. So I wanted to mention it in case you guys like vintage and all that fun stuff. Someone in my apartment building is cooking something that smells amazing. <laughs> Distractions. Um, okay, next, sunglasses. Um, or not sunglasses, just glasses. Frames in general. Uh, so this is kind of like obviously a new trend that's popping up a lot and it's the colored clear framed lenses. These are great. A lot of celebrities are wearing them. You know I love my look for less. Uh, so these are awesome because I got these from ASOS. There's ones that they sell on Windsor that are super affordable. So if you just kind of want to try or experiment with a new trend, but you're like, dang, I do not want to pay that much money if I don't know I'm going to look good in them, this is a great option. So these ones are from ASOS. I like them. They're pink. Um, they're definitely not for everybody. It's kind of a crazy style, but I think they're really fun. I think that they're going to be really cool for the spring and the summer. I might even bring these to Coachella. Who knows? <laughs> Next up are blouses. And I just grabbed a bunch from my closet just to show you what I mean. <laughs> um, this time of year, I just find this is like one of my favorite things and I'm always wearing them because the weather isn't like super warm yet, but it's not super cold anymore. But you still kind of want to layer. Do you get what I'm saying? So whether I'm wearing it with like the shorts and tucking them in or just denim jeans, this is so easy and it's definitely one of my favorites. They're just these like basic button down. Um, I have a bunch of different prints, obviously. I'm loving the stripes. Uh, so yeah, this one's cool because it has florals. This one's from Majorelle from Revolve. This one is from Primark, only like $10. 
Um, this one is from Rat and Boa. Uh, this one is from Reformation, and this one is from Frame. I thought I'd just mention that. I don't know if that was necessary, uh, but now you know. Anyways, this style of shirt you can find everywhere. They're just like flowy blouses. This will save your life if you just want to have something easy to wear but still want to look fashionable. Definitely one of my fashion favorites, and I love wearing that. Just like tucking them into jeans or shorts with a big belt. Ugh. And then for a hat, I wanted to mention, you can actually see my lack of color hat right there. I'm not gonna grab it, but I do really like those hats. You'll see that more in the spring and the summer. So I'm gonna wait on that guy. Um, but I did wanna mention this guy. I know you have seen him so much and you're like, we get it, shut up about it. They sell these all over the place, range of prices. You can get them for super affordable. I know Windsor has an epic one, looks just like this. Um, but these hats are just great. If you have a bad hair day, uh, we ran out of conditioner like a day ago and I didn't wash my hair for like three days. So I uh, plopped this guy on and I was good to go. It's just, it makes your outfit look so good. And then lastly, I wanted to mention my necklace. I don't think I ever take this thing off. I'm in love with it. I mentioned it in my haul video, but it's by Maria Pascal. It's such a great necklace. It's such a staple necklace. I wear it with freaking everything. It's so good. I want to go on and buy like a bunch more in case I lose it. <laughs> um, but I do want to buy actually the bigger horn necklace of this. This is the small one. Um, I want to buy the bigger one um, just because like I wear it so much and I'm like, oh, I'm getting such good use out of this. Uh, so this is definitely my favorite. I get a lot of questions from you guys about it. Uh, I will have it linked below. So yeah, those are my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I kind of re-mentioned some things, but I hope I really nailed it into your brain that I really love them um, because I'm being true. These are like some of my favorite things. Uh, so yeah, I really hope you guys found some new stuff to try out. Uh, I will have everything linked below like always. And yeah, that's it. So I will see you guys next week for a new video. Bye.